Huawei launched their P20 Pro and P20 Lite in India. And here we've got the P20 Lite, which went on sale on 3rd May for 19,999 Indian rupees. So before the main card, let's unbox and have a quick look of it. Well, this is Ram, and you are here in Tech for Doom. So let's get right into it. This is the package it comes in. As I said, it sold for 19,999 Indian rupees. Hmm, much better pricing compared to P20 Pro, which is obviously we cannot afford. Well, opening up the package, we got our black P20 Lite. Let's control our enticement for a while and move on. The regular reading materials are here. And here's this R value for someone who is interested in it. Continuing, the regular 5V 2A charger. A Type-C cable. Yep, at least now they moved to Type-C for their budget segment. After a long time. Thank you Huawei. Hey, surprisingly they included uh, earphones. But I bet no one will be using this. Now let's get back to the device itself. To the front, it sports a 8.84 inches 1080 into 2280 pixels with 432 ppi. And yeah, P20 series also present in the notch train, which holds a 16 megapixel f2.0 with 1.12 microns. To the right, it holds the power button and volume rockers. To the left, the hybrid SIM tray, which supports two nano SIMs or a nano SIM and a micro SD card. Moving to the top, the noise cancelling microphones. To the bottom, a mono speaker grill, Type-C port, a mic and a 3.5mm headphone jack. And to the back, once again, we got the iPhone 10 copy. Yeah, the dual vertical rear camera setup, which is a 16 megapixel f2.2 with 1.0 microns, coupled with 2 megapixel depth sensor with the LED flash. And the fingerprint scanner is also present at a much more comfortable position. All these are held in a shining glass body. Now let's boot up the device. Meanwhile, here's a specs overview for your reference. We have finished setting up the device. Let's check what this NAS and Beast has got. Yep, this sports Kiran's budget famous Kiran 659 chipset, which is the same chip we saw in Honor 9 Lite, 7X, 9i and here. They could have changed the chipset. Well, this 659 is coupled with 4 GB of RAM and checking the internal storage, it got approximately around 52 GB free of 64 GB respectively and all these are backed up with 3000 mAh battery. Checking about the software versions, this comes with 8.0 Oreo with EMUI 8.0 placed on top of it with April security patch. Let's see if we can disable the notch. Yep, luckily it does. Let's check out some camera samples and see what it can offer. Initial impressions seems good. Have to test it further. So cannot comment before that. So that's it for this video. And if you got any other questions, let me know in comments. And if you do like it, hit subs, do like, comment and share it. Until then, this is Ram and I am signing off.